All right, we're here with the golf coach, Maryland men's golf coach, Jason Rodenhaver. Uh, great guy. How long have you been at Maryland men? All together, I've been here 24 years. 24 years. I was, I was the men's assistant, and I was the women's coach. Uh, then I coached both. In the last, this will be my fifth year as the men's coach exclusively. So as that position is, are you able to do a lot more when you're just coaching one of the teams? Yes. I mean, when we were, when I was doing both both teams, it was great. I love working with both teams, but you spread yourself too thin. And uh, we're and after a couple of years, we realized that that wasn't probably the best course of action. So. I was fortunate to get the men's team, and uh, certainly, Jason, certainly are the happy. new rules that are affecting the PGA role? in now, effect for you? Really get into the swing we were just talking about that. There's several new golf rules. Uh, we're getting ready to start traveling here for the Big Ten match play in about 10 days. And you never know what it's going to take. Uh, so we're going to spend the day here on the, on the new rules and make sure we're up to date, up to speed. If you can just keep it because there's a lot of big changes. If you watch golf on TV right now, there's guys putting with the flag stick in, uh, which is very strange. It looks I love it because I'm the worst putter in the world. <laughs> well, I think if I were playing right now, I'd keep a stick in all the time, honestly. Yeah. And you know, long putts, you can see a little bit better. Gives you a little better depth depth perception, like for sure. The guys and I think they think it's going to speed up play a little bit. Is the double hit also out as a, two as a penalty? They, that, that's no longer a, a, a penalty. I mean, that happens once once every blue moon. But um, Well, it's, every time it's happened to me, it's never been good. I think I think nobody's ever hit a double hit right. in the hole. No, they sure haven't. You know, there's there's rules on dropping the ball. Uh, the rules on uh, looking for a lost ball it used to be five Ready minutes. Now it's Peter three. Reed, junior golfer so, uh, from Easton. You know, it's. it's I, I the think they're good changes. The jury's still out. We'll see what happens. When you coach the team and you're, you know, you're walking, watching your guys, are you allowed to talk to them? Absolutely. So you can yeah, say, I, I have every, every, uh, I can do any, anything I want. Essentially, I'm, uh, I'm essentially their caddy. You know, club selection. Uh, we we talk about course strategy within the you know on the course because every day is different based on the winds, you know, rain, temperature. So uh, we 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 always walk with our guys. And uh, how do we stack up against the rest of the Big Ten this year? Right now we're middle of the pack, but uh, it's a long spring season, so. And we'll see where we go. I like our team. This is probably the deep to meet you. Yeah, it's definitely, so. definitely, All right. definitely the deepest team I've had. Really? So I got I got five solid starters right now, and uh, looking forward to to a great spring here. One of them is sitting right over here, Peter Day. How are you today? I'm doing well. How right. are you? Talk about the key guys on the team. Uh, Peter's one of them. Peter's our number one guy right now. Peter's a junior from Easton, Maryland. He's a local. Uh, great player, got all the talent in the world. He's been he's been in our lineup since day one, so he's played in every event. He's been an immediate impact player for the day he got on campus. And looking forward to having a good spring. Who else? He, he puts the work in. And uh, you know, Tim Kalant is a senior for us. Tim has played in every event as well for his whole his whole career here. So uh, I have two guys, two solid guys who play a lot of golf for us, which is what you want. And uh, got a freshman playing for us, Dylan Brown. From Boston, uh, been a solid player for us in the fall. Uh, Christian Park came to us from UNC Wilmington, transferred in this year. Has been a pleasant surprise. Has played very well for us. And uh, another local from Annapolis, Evan Santa, the Matha grad, uh, has been a solid player for us for a year and a half as well. So, five solid players. Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Well, that's that's a lot. I mean, that's... Well, I wish I had more, but at least I have five. Right. Uh, so what are your... Uh, who is favored in the Big Ten and where are your biggest matches this year? Well, we... You know, we start out going. We'll be in Puerto Rico here in two weeks. Uh, it's not hateful. No, it's that's. I'm not complaining about that one. Uh, but before that, we go to the Big Ten match play. So we'll see where we stack up in the match play, and it really starts getting real serious at the in, in Puerto Rico. But Illinois has been has been the top of the top of the league as long as we've been in it. They've won every year that we've been a member of the Big Ten. So they're the ones we want to get. Uh, they're they're a top Let's ten go. team. All right, great. Jason, again, uh, anxious to see you at Woodhome. 
and uh, I'm sure Richard Fess will arrange something for you. Next time we come up, I'll call you. Let, I, I want to play I'll, with you, man. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll let you know we're on our way up. Yeah, play with these young kids is too tough. You, you'll be amazed how far they hit it. Yeah, let me ask you, how do they handle the one home course? Uh, they handle it pretty well. I mean, they, they, hit it, they hit it long enough to play there. Um, but you got you got to be smart around here. There's a couple holes you got got to be careful on for sure. You can't veer anywhere. No, home. you got to hit it straight. You got to hit it straight. You, you no got to hit the ball in the short grass to play well there. And how sure. about caves? How do the kids do at caves? Uh, what do you think, Peter? Caves and what hole? Caves. Caves better. I mean, harder. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's harder or easier. I just personal preference. Right. Right. Well, Woodhome's a lot older. Keep in and... mind, Bruce is a member of Woodhome. That's all right. I'll play a cage too. <laughs> well, in that case. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. You know, just while you, when all the other guys come to play, Peters has to sit out. Right. <laughs> now we, we 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 like getting up there because there's, there's there's plenty of turps up there. There's turps everywhere. We like getting up in Baltimore, and uh, you never know. I may find a recruit somewhere up there. You never know. I mean, we've had some over the years, but uh, it's tough. You gotta well, I got a local. I got a loyal of Blakefield player on my team. Will, Willie Course is on our team. Right. Uh, we have a 2020 recruit who I can't mention right now, but he's uh, boys Latin. Right. So there's a lot of good golf up there, and we like to hopefully keep the local kids home for sure. The sure is easier, I'll tell you that. Absolutely. Right, because the parents can come and watch easier and you everything know, else. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Hey, great seeing you. We'll, we'll see you. We'll hit him at Woodhome. Very good. Thanks, Bruce. All right.